Acts chapter 8 verse 3, but Saul was ravaging the church and entering house after house. He dragged off men and women and committed them to prison. At the end of Acts chapter 7, Stephen was stoned to death by members of the Jewish Sanhedrin for his faith in Christ. And Saul was there giving his approval. Saul then began to wreak havoc or cause damage on the church in Jerusalem, the city of peace, scattering the apostles and many disciples throughout Judea and Samaria. One of those disciples named Philip went to the city of Samaria and began to proclaim Jesus as the Messiah. And he saw all kinds of miracles and great crowds coming to faith. When difficulties come, the persecution come, we should not be discouraged because God has a great plan behind the scene and we can see the fruitfulness and great victory. The Lord uses problem to push us up. Sometimes God will allow your place of peace, perhaps your home or workplace where you feel secure and comfortable to be disrupted. A Saul or a persecutor, a problem of some sort show up, a sickness, a betrayal, a downsizing, intense pressure, some kind of problem come against your peace. Stay in faith. Saul is a setup for God to do something you have never seen, to push you to a new level. He already has a plan to use it to increase and to promote you. Our God is a good God. Without the trauma and difficulty, there would not be the transition and promotion. Thank you, Father, that there is a purpose when a Saul or a persecutor comes our way because you're going to help us to have victory, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you have great plans to use the difficulties and persecution to increase and to promote us, Lord. We will stay in faith and in peace, knowing that you, the Lord, hold us in the palms of your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.